as military head of state was to allow Nigerians to decide through public debates whether to accept the $2.5 billion International Monetary Fund IMF loan the Buhari government had been negotiating for. After the terror of the Buhari years, Nigerians appeared to have found a statesman in military uniform. By 1985, Nigeria's foreign debt had ballooned to $18 billion, up from $3.4 billion in 1980. It would rise beyond $30 billion by the end of the 80s, and external reserves had dwindled to less than $2 billion. Oil prices had been in free fall for three years running, and in January 1986, they finally fell to less than $20 per barrel, a record low since the start of the decade. To his credit, Bangida made all the right noises about the revamping the economy. In his Independence Day 1985 speech, barely two months old in office, he declared a state of economic emergency for the next 15 months. That speech went on to lay down a comprehensive plan for economic reconstruction. This plan included the suspension on no foreign debt, promotion of agriculture and industrial development, restriction of importation to essential commodities, financial sector reform, and privatization. Apangida was a master of the populist move and ambitious government programs targeted at tackling poverty and empowering rural dwellers. His government churned out program after program in a bid to actualize its promises to run an inclusive, people-facing government. In 1986, Babangida launched the mass mobilization for self-reliance, social justice, and economic recovery. In time, the fiscal protest that Babangida espoused vanished. Billions of 